others. But the Russians must understand that these kinds of, of, of actions and activities are not acceptable, and hopefully we will use the weapons, economic, diplomatic, and others, and united with our allies, with our allies and friends in Europe who are equally disturbed as we are about the war today. Russia is a challenge. Is that right, Donald? Well, you know, so we're pushing too far. Well, the resurgence of Russia is one of the central issues of the United States war in the early 1990s. And for the most part, I agree with Senator McCain uh, on many of the steps that have to be taken, but we can't just provide more support. We've got to provide more support to the Poles and Estonia and Latvia and and all the nations that were former Soviet satellites, but we've also got to provide them with financial and concrete assistance to help rebuild their economies, as Georgia in particular is now thinking of enormous economic challenges. And some say that that's what Putin is doing. Back to TSL. The other thing we have to do is we've got to stay with the Streaming uh, Team Second Lives while during the debate. Teams are actually debate are listening to the debate live. And I'm in quick. <laughs> I've got somebody talking to me on quick. Bye. We actually have a. See if I can get in to it close. We actually have a live Twitter stream also coming into the team grid. So, and you can actually change who's viewing.
significant obstacles. And our challenge right now is the Iranians continue on the path to acquiring nuclear weapons. And it's a great threat. It's not just a threat threat to the state of Israel. It's a threat to the stability of the entire Middle East. If Iran acquires nuclear weapons, all the other countries will acquire them too. The tensions will be ratcheted up. What would you do if you were the Israelis and and the president of a country says that they are are determined to wipe you off the map, calls your country a stinking corpse? Now, Senator Obama, without preconditions, wants to sit down and negotiate with me. Without preconditions. That's what he stated. Again, a matter of record. I want to make sure that the Iranians uh, are put enough, that we put enough pressure on the Iranians by joining with our allies, imposing significant, tough sanctions to modify their behavior. And I think we can do that. I think joining with our allies and friends in the League of Democracies, that we can effectively uh, 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 abridge their behavior and hopefully they would abandon this quest that they are on for nuclear weapons. But at the end of the day, my friend, I have to tell you again, and you know what it's like to serve, and you know what it's like to sacrifice, but we can never allow a second Holocaust to take place. Well, Terry, first of all, we are in the service and we're doing a great job here. We cannot allow Iran to get nuclear weapons. Uh, It would be a game changer in the region. Uh, Not only would it threaten Israel, uh, our strongest ally in the region, and one of our strongest allies in the world, uh, but it would also create a possibility of nuclear weapons falling into the hands of terrorists. So it's unacceptable. And I will do everything that's required to prevent it. And we will never take military options off the table. And it is important that we don't provide veto power to the United Nations or anyone else in acting in our interests. It is important, though, for us to use all the tools at our disposal to prevent the scenario where we've got to make those kinds of choices. 